I've worn many hats in the music business. I worked my way up at KISS FM back in the 90s. From there, I've been everywhere. I knew that this was the world that I needed to be in. Before the bike pod was built, I was always using Mixcloud, so it just seemed like a very natural gravitational pull. Mixcloud is essentially an online audio hosting platform. Whether that's um, a local radio community station or a DJ or a superstar DJ, we take their content, they upload it to us, we host it, and we allow anyone in the world to come and listen to it. Ten years ago, there was no real payments going out to creators. So things like Stripe for payments, nothing really existed on the level it does today. We were focused on advertising. We really didn't believe in subscriptions. So we focused heavily on ads. It became pretty evident fairly early on that this was going to be a very hard play to do. So around about 2013 is when we started trying to figure out subscriptions, hence partnering with Stripe to launch Pro. Anybody as a DJ anywhere in the world could upload a show to Mixout and any listener in the world could subscribe to that DJ specifically to get access to exclusive content, newsletter updates, that kind of thing. So there's a function on Mixcloud which is tips. It's just really easy to be able to get people to help support us in what we do. When live streaming became a thing on the platform, it became evident that DJs wanted to collect money. We built tips out. We used Stripe Connect for that. It's incredible when you think about how things have come along, not just payments, but also just the expectations of the customers, some authentication, security. Back then, it was much more about could you build the plumbing and the infrastructure. Today, it's much more about the speed, iteration, product quality. What would take you six months can now be done in two weeks. We are a company who puts creators first. We always have done. We've got a long-standing track record of that. They'll be exposed to other listeners across the world, and other listeners will be exposed to different cultures and different types of music around the world as well.